In today's video, guys, we have to decide what we're going to do next with the Antigonids now dead. That is glorious, but we've got to decide whether we want to commit to the north, whether we want to commit to the southeast, or whether we want to commit to the west. What are we going to do, guys? I have no idea, but stay tuned to find out. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today is a glorious day because... um. Look at this! Oh, how nice is that to see? No goddamn Antigonids left. Very glorious indeed. So we are going to take stock, guys. I thought it was a good time. Episode 30, we will do a Toggle Fog of War as well. But I thought rather than doing both the Toggle Fog of War and the rankings and everything, we might as well do them all. Now, you might notice the money's different because I've built everywhere. We are now building everywhere, guys. Apart from one settlement, which is Igeon, which only has grain imports as a building. So not really much point in building that. May build it next turn if we have enough money. But let's see. That is the last priority. So first things first, let's have a look at our stats, how we're doing. Episode 29. Um, we are 120 turns into the game. We control 90 regions, which is pretty nice. Getting up to 100 We've won 225 battles and lost 31. Most of those lost battles are siege battles where Adrissians or someone has sieged us down. Uh, or they've routed our whole enemy. We are sixth in the world in terms of territory, fourth financially, fifth in population, which is insane. Eleventh production and fifteenth military. I think that production may go up next turn when it sees that we're building everywhere. We are still enemies of the Adrissians and the Seleucids and allies with the RDAI and Pontic Pentapolis. We are trade partners with a lot of people. Um, but what we're going to do, we are going to send some spies across to Italy to see what's going on. But let's see. We're going to put in some of these bigger factions in here and see our ranking. Um, is Rome in there? No. Let's find Rome and get Rome on there. You can see Rome is not doing too well. I'm also going to put Syracuse because they have been doing fantastically well. Acrogas for the boys. No, I'm joking. <laughs> They're dead. Um, I think that's a good, decent amount. A uh, good selection there. Maybe Bactria as well as a uh, bit of a, um, uh, a back marker. And yeah, overall ranking... We are doing relatively well. We've kept on steadily in almost an exponential fashion, kept going up, which is very nice. Let's have a look at military. You can see the Seleucids here flattening and maybe going down a bit, but that just shows how little a dent we've put in their, uh, in their faction. Look at the Antigonids here too. Completely nosediving. Very nice. It will be zero next turn as well, so that would be an absolute zero. We are only there, so we do not have that many troops compared to these big empires still, uh, which is kind of insane, really. Production-wise, yeah, that's fine. We're, we're going to be skyrocketing next turn. Territorial-wise, though, look at that line. That is scythed through so many people's lines. That is insane. We are uh, going up, and it looks like the Romans and Syracusans have exactly the same amount of settlements which is good. So we are only fourth behind the Seleucids, Ptolemies, and Carthage right now, which is just insane, really, isn't it? Um, finances, we are also exponentially increasing. The Seleucids are doing very well on finances. Um, you can see the Antigonids died. Um, and this one, what is that? Is that the Antigonids? One of those is the Antigonids. Um, yeah, doing very well anyway. Population-wise, again, exponentially increasing now. Really good. How much is our population? We're coming up to 800,000, so nearly a million. And it won't be too long, I don't think, before we actually do have a million. I think we're going to have to take, though, a couple of turns here now, guys. We'll probably do this battle. But a couple of turns just to sort of um, reset, calm down a little bit. And we're going to go through our plans, too. Was there anything else on here that we wanted to show, really? We can show this, actually, financial side we are making 215,000 with a 215,000 expenditure, obviously spending all the money that we are making. We're making 45,000 from farming, 83,000 from trade, and 66,000 from taxes. So we are well at the point where trade outstrips taxes now, which is very good um, as well. So glorious, glorious. We are spending 
89,000 on armies. Honestly, cheaper than I expected from that. Uh, 36,000 on recruitment. That's a lot. And 77,000 on construction. Obviously, that is biased because we are retraining three, four full stacks right now, which is quite quite a lot of full stacks, guys. So, yeah, we are, um, we are doing that as well. Well, glorious, guys. I'm going to end the turn here. I'm going to take a couple of turns to just kind of calm down, and then I'm going to go through our plans for the future. And we are getting attacked by the Adrissians here. Probably going to play this one out just to see if we can destroy the ram. Uh, if not, we'll obviously lose, but uh, we might as well try and destroy the ram here uh, with our 36 men. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, the gates are open. So, um, yeah. Oh, they're right, the troops are over there. That's very strange. Um, didn't even realize that. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, let's see what they do, though. They might come and try and attack us on the walls. Um, hopefully, this uh, general runs in as well and we can shoot him. Don't know where they're going to go. Are they going to go for the town square? Uh, looks like it. That's unfortunate. Hopefully, we'll be able to shoot these guys, though, now. Which is really good. Let's see. All right. We're going to have to come off the walls if they are going for the town square. And just try and... Uh, we're going to leave, actually, this unit on the walls for now. And um, we're going to bring these guys through this way to try and shoot them to death. It's not going to happen, but we might as well try, guys. So we're going to try and shoot these guys while they're getting engaged by the uh, long spearmen here. We might even do a good job against the long spearmen, so... I'm going to fire at these boys. We're going to turn them off that as well. I'm also going to bring these guys through now because there's no point in them just chilling over there. Um, I don't think we're going to win, but we might as well give it a go. See if those slings do anything. That'd be good. It's actually killed one of the general's bodyguards. The general bodyguard can just charge us and we'd, we'd lose. So um, as long as they stay there doing nothing, I'm happy. You know, pretty happy. Here we go. Killing a few of them. There they go. They go for the charge now, though. That's not good. That's going to destroy us. So let's do that. Hopefully we won't uh, we won't route on here anymore, which will be good. These guys are coming now too. I don't think we're going to win, guys. But you never know. <laughs> we can kill those bodyguards. You never know what might happen. Uh, these guys are going to come. That was not the greatest charge by them, but not awful nonetheless. Seven of their guys left. We're going to come all the way around here and start firing in the back of them as well. Which should be good. So there we go. Right, let's get uh, over here. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get there. Go, 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 guys. Go, quick, quick, quick. Right, now we fire. Now we fire. Fire in them. Let's see what happens. They're impetuous. Can we take out enough of them uh, to win this? Probably not, but you never know. Yeah, no, definitely not now. Definitely not. Three of those boys still alive. Never good. There, the general is dead, though. The general is dead. I wonder if we can, like, maybe uh, bait these guys away. Skirmish with them a bit. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. Ten of you. Ah, uh, well. They didn't They didn't want to leave the fight, apparently. Let's see if they just stop at any point. Yeah, no, they're not going to, are they? I mean, we, ta we take out the general, which is pretty good, honestly, in this. Yeah, there we go. Death, unfortunately, but the Idrissians have pushed back against us again. But uh, yeah, 73 casualties in a general. Not too bad. Another suitable husband. Very good. Let's take that. Where did you come of age? Very good. How old are you now? 52. You've still got a few years in you then. Not a problem. And we do want you to be governing one of these cities. I'm thinking Githion. Let's have a look. Where's really rich? Chalkis is incredibly rich. Um, yeah, well, Chalkis then, it seems like well, that will be the option. Uh, where did you come of age, by the way? <laughs> I always forget this. Where were you? Oh, you were over there. So we're going to send you all the way to Chalkis. Like I say, we want to govern these areas now very well. So we had some civil disorder. Lamia, of course, because it's got no people in there. Did we get a, an archer? We did. So that should make Lamia okay. Let's then go for the shrine to Dionysus. That's 15% happiness, so they should be okay there. Uh, Elatea also got a little bit upset, so let's build the sewer in there. 
And Damastion, yeah, we'll just have to put you down onto low. That's not a problem. Death stalks the land in Korkira. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal. We do have public baths here, don't we? Yeah, so just going to have to wait for that to go. The Idrisians are continuing to siege us down. So are the Seleucids. Um, so we're going to keep on retraining the troops that we uh, that we have. Um, training in here, guys. So we're going to retrain the rest of these boys. Same with this one. Same with this one. And we're also going to keep on training troops. So an Athamanian in there. a Probably an Ambrachio in there. And maybe another... 304 in that one. Um, you're going there. And then in Thermon, is this army retrained? Not quite. We just need the cavalry back for it, don't we? Um, and the cavalry is fine. So let's get the cavalry into there for now. So that they are all together. And let's keep on training archers in here as governors. Same with Leprion. We are still training archers. So... Let's send you to... Let's send you to Karistos. Ah, god damn it. Those guys again. <laughs> oh, well. That's fine. Um, and in the north, how are we doing with our Thracian boyos? Let's keep on going with those boys. Uh, we're nearly... Oh, no. Don't retrain them. Let's go... Have we got two Thurioforoi? Yes, we do. Could have maybe some more Thurioforoi. Let's go for another Hippocontistae, or we could go for some Paeonian Cavalry, huh. which are actually quite decent. They're not bad. They're basically a Zistaphoria, a Thracian version of a Zistaphoria, and they have armor-piercing secondary weapon. So I'll tell you what, we'll go for Paeonian Cavalry in there. We are getting that so we can get Thracian Noble Cavalry. Um, anywhere else we can get anything good. I mean, in here, not... Exactly. So, could get Ambrachios here, actually. They would be good against Cavalry, wouldn't they? But, um, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, good. Right, one more turn, guys. And then we'll go through what we're going to do next. And here we go, guys. This is going to be fun. We're going to defend properly this time and not let them just push their way through with the Hetai, Roy. So, uh, let's get into it. A glorious defense against the Seleucid Empire. Well, it is unfortunately one of these city centers, so the uh, you know the the choke points are a lot bigger than they otherwise would be. But hopefully this time we've set them up right so that they don't manage to get through. But um, like I say, this time we're going to keep our cavalry here so that if they do break through, we'll be able to stop them charging the other choke points in the back. Our guys are still up here just to fire some javelins and. Slow them down slightly, but they're obviously going to die. They are the sacrificial lambs, unfortunately. Well, there we go. Looks like most of them are coming this way, I would think, anyway. They seem undecided, honestly. <laughs> but there goes a few of them. Most of their troops are still just on the walls, which is quite funny. Um, so I do consider pulling one of these units off. What do they have? 52 of those... Honestly, they should really swap around, shouldn't they? You go like that. And then you guys go like that. Should be a good little formation for us. Let's go there. And then this 52. Let's get them across. Come on, boys. And then we're going to put them here as the double line. So that, yeah, they pretty much a double line of phalanx. They really cannot get through. I mean, we have uh, a very uh, <laughs> light defense over this side, but I don't think they're going to go around that way. Don't think the AI is going to be clever enough. But they've uh, been shot by towers the whole way they came this way with their Ahetai Roy as well, which is insane. <laughs> um, but yeah, they should be ready to uh, get moving now. A few of them are actually coming around this way, but I I'm assuming they're just going to come up this way. And the whole time they're doing that, they're getting shot by all of these towers. <laughs> So, uh, well done, AI. Very clever, as usual. Well, here we go. The Hetai Roy have uh, just been broken straight away, which is insane. And they're also getting fired at again. <laughs> More javelins into the back of them. Awesome. These guys, uh, plenty of javelins for them to use, so I'm not bothered about that. Also, killing Hetai Roy is never a bad thing, even if they are routing. 
Um, getting rid of them because they are an insanely good unit, as we've seen in the past in the Seleucid campaign. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> good. Let's speed this up then now. We don't need to go so slow. Probably going to just run in. And there they go. They routed straight away again. Is this because they don't have a general? Do they have a general? Or oh, they do. And a general called Alexander too. Which is a great name for a general. But uh, hopefully, yeah, they've come back, these Hetaro. Actually, that's fine. But yeah, I think we're going to be okay here. And looks like they're actually sending most of their troops this way. Hmm. Well, that's fine then. Let's uh, get rid of the unit of 50 here. Doesn't look like something we need. Let's just march out slowly. Maybe not the best time to do that, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. I think this Hetaro is going to die pretty quickly again. There we go. Broken straight away. These guys, crisis speeders, should be able to kill them quite quickly, especially if they're just marching through like that. Right then, guys, you're now across here. So let's uh, let's get you in position there to back up the second line. And uh, yeah, kill those crisis speeders should be quite easy. These guys can get in that fight if necessary too. They don't really have many troops around it. Oh, what's this? Well, that's their general's bodyguard. Okay, cool. I thought it was infantry for a second there. We've got Thurio, Foray, and Hoplites coming around this way. The main bulk of their troops, though, is all these Crisis Speeders and stuff all around this side. So that's not going to be so fun to deal with. But, um, yeah, I I'm sure we can hold them off. Here comes the general's... Uh, here comes more Hetairoi and a Thorakitai. So hopefully we can uh, do a good job against the Thorakitai because they are insanely good. Somehow managed to break through with the Hetairoi over here. Over this side, we are chucking some jabbies at the old Crisis Speeders. So that should soften up their ranks somewhat. I'm wondering now whether to go with the full on sideways. Probably worth it, actually. Just so that these guys are actually touching them. Remember, they can fit troops through that little gap there. Which does start to like upset, the, uh, upset everything. There we go. They're actually in place. Good. Get in place, guys. And looks like we're doing okay. The crisis speeders for them are decent, but we should be okay. We've got a double line here. So that should be good. If they're going to just do stupid stuff like try and push through, then we should be fine. There goes the Thorakitai fighting our men. Should be able to hold them off, no problem. Same thing with the general's bodyguard. Let's uh, see if we can maybe get these guys in on the action too and we'll pop them there just in case because they are starting to get a little bit damaged now come on guys you need to hold them off with the phalanx can't let them through come on guys come on i don't know like this like just the, the ai just trying to march through your men is so annoying <laughs> because it's like it's just bollocks, really. Like, they, they should be getting shredded if they're just trying to march through a phalanx. But because of their armor value and the defense value, they don't. They just carry on just marching like that and not getting killed. Which is just insanely, insanely annoying. Like, look at them. The fucking idiots, man. <laughs> right, well, they're going to die. I, I'm not bothered about that. Let's kill them. But hopefully we can, you know, hold formation here because, because of these idiots... Let's kill them all. There we go, Cav. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's what you get if you march through, guys. <laughs> well, here comes their general who's caused absolute chaos now in the ranks, which is a bit annoying. So we're going to go charge again. Uh, and it's good actually having the cavalry here just to do these charges. See, the Thorakitai are starting to lose. Same as the Macedonian hoplites. These guys are quite thin now, so... What I'm going to do is get these guys out and in behind there. There we go. Killed their general. Pretty nice. Glorious. Right, now let's uh, stop the disruption for a second. <laughs> and hopefully these guys can then get back in formation properly, which will be good. See, these guys, they're just their formation is awful now. <laughs> Not good at all. So let's try and do this. Because it doesn't look like they're, they're doing any weird shit with men coming through this way. <laughs> So let's see if we can start attacking them in the side there. That'd be amazing. Let's do that. How are we doing over here then? Right, you guys. You guys need to get in behind here. So let's get there. Looks like the Thorakitai are thinking that they can break through, which is very annoying. So again, they're not going to. We're going to get in phalanx formation and we're going to 
fit in there very nicely. So get going, men. Get going into your into position. And now halt. And there instantly. Get your phalanx down, and we should be back to stable over here. Oh, my God. Guys, come on, honestly. Like, how is your formation so shit? That is so annoying. Like, look at this. Like, what is this? I do think we're still going to beat them, but... Um, yeah, pretty annoying, honestly. Uh, well, what do we have now? Thurio, Foroy, and some Slingers, and that's it. I mean, I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna die. You guys send you to chase after the Thorakitai. That'll be good. In fact, let's send a little detachment around. We're gonna send these two down this way. Oh no, if the Thor if they're going that way, well, we'll send them this way actually. To come around the back and maybe char chase down some of these guys. But um, looks like they're all routing now anyway, which is good. So that is fantastic. Oh, and there we go, guys. They've all started routing now, which is great. We've got this unit of Asian Slingers to deal with. And this unit of Thurio Foroi, which is getting shot to death. <laughs> but apart from that, I think that's a victory, guys. Have we killed them all? Yeah, we've killed so many. <laughs> Very nice indeed. There we go, guys. A glorious little victory. We killed a lot of troops there for pretty free. You know, 300 versus their 1,100. A glorious defense. So, another husband, but I think we're going to deny that because he's 34 already. Korkira is still a little bit sad. Um, we've been besieged at Damastion now as well. And uh, we've got rioting in Lamia, of course, still. But one more turn should be fine for that one. Uh, any cool faction nice with Lots of kids being born because we have, of course, taken a lot of settlements recently. Uh, although we've lost a few to the Adrissians. But like I say, I'm not too bothered about that. Um, so let's talk about our plan going forward then, guys. So we do have lots to do. First things first, though, what we are going to do is clean up Greece. So we're going to take all of these off the Greece, Greek city-states. We're going to send an army over here to take Mantinea and Orchomenos Arcadia. That should be nice and easy. We're going to send someone across to Stratos and Agatheia too. And we're also going to send an army all the way up this way uh, to take these few settlements out this way that do have pretty darn big garrisons as well. Um, and basically, you know, consolidate this little area too, which uh, should be good for us. Very good indeed. And then what we're going to do, we are going to send an army to Crete to go and take Crete and then on to Rhodes too. Uh, we are going to send, I don't think we're going to send any further armies north. We're going to leave this now. I'm going to leave you behind. Um, pop out of there. Are they happy? They are plenty happy. Oh, by the way, guys, just so you know, I have also um, redone all of the tax rates around everywhere. So I've done all the tax rates so that everywhere now should be growing if it can and also on the highest tax rate possible. Like, for example, here, high and still growing. So that is really good. Um, so what are we doing here? I think we're very close to getting this army together, aren't we? We just need the cavalry, which, um, unfortunately, don't think we can get too much more cavalry, can we, in this area? Just Progermoy. I'm surprised by that. Ah, we don't have that. So four more turns, and that will be ready, and then we can get more cavalry, and then we'll have a Thracian army ready to go. Pautalina, I think we're just going to auto-resolve that. Yeah, 66. That's not a problem. Let's then leave here. What I am going to consider doing, though, in Pautalina is actually um, maybe building another recruitment hub. Maybe one up there, too. Because it's in a good spot. And if we build that, that will allow us then to recruit garrison troops here, pretty much. That's that's the main reason for doing so. Uh, we want to go and take Scaptopara as well. And then we want to come across and retake Bessapara and Philippopolis. I'm not too bothered about this. That's not a problem. The Thracian army can deal with it as well. We could even just go now with the Thracian army. Um, we've got some cavalry, not much. They should actually be down to low. Um, yeah. Hmm, not so sure. We do need a garrison in there, though. That is, that is one thing we definitely need. 
So we could go with a general. He's got seven governance, though, and that's quite obscene. We don't need... Uh, I don't want to waste him on that. Um, how about you, Ortizion? You go to Pautolina. That's fine. Is there anything that will bring them happiness quite quickly? No, just maybe more garrisons. We do have a mercenary Hippocontisti there. So let's go for that. I don't think they would have taken that. I think they would have run away. So no point engaging in that one. Um, yeah, so in the north, we're going to keep on going with these two armies. Just keep, um, you know, um, going back and forth with them, fighting off the Seleucids. And with these armies now then, let's get them ready. So this army needs more Athamanians. I think a lot of them actually need more Athamanians. Honestly, so let's get them, organize them so we can see. Yeah, either archers or Athamanians. So do we have Athamanians? We do. Um, and we got another one there. Good. So that is a very nice army for Pyrrhos. You are going to go over here, Pyrrhos. You are going to engage them. You're a garrison for one of these areas. That one probably. Um... Actually, no, we're not going to do that. Where where did you go? You went there. Uh, well, this one can go straight into here then. So let's... You can go there. Ready to attack them. So we're going to attack them all at once, guys, as well. So it doesn't give them chance to siege any of our settlements down or anything like that. We're going to double siege them over here, if we can. Uh, round that way, I think, is the best thing to do. This army here, although not fully retrained. Oh, we can't retrain Ambarakiotes here. I did not realize that. So you're going to have to... Um, you're going to have to go into that area. That's fine because, like I say, we, we can uh, send you into the north. No problem. You guys as well. I, Abreas. What do you have? Well, you need, like, some Thurioforoi, don't you? You've got the cav. Let's uh, sort them so we can see. You need Thurioforoi and some Athamanians, but we don't have any more Athamanians. So, what we might do with you is just give you some, like, Deuteroi. Um, sort that one. And then maybe one more cavalry unit. Probably the best thing to do. Let's send you there. You're going to go up this way, up to these guys. And then finally, that unit then is going to go and take this area, Agathea, here. So I don't think that's going to be a pretty uh, easy little uh, few fights for us. But it's not going to be uh, terrible either. You're going into Chalkis. That will then allow you to go to Hermione. Good. Right. Well, I think that's pretty decent. You've moved. Got you sieging down. We could get the Thracian army up and going soon. I do just want that cavalry, though, because it's going to be so valuable for us, especially against all the light infantry that the Adrissians are going to have. Uh, do they have a ram yet? No, they don't. We are going to lose Bessapara, but like I say, that's going to be fine. Um, the Seleucids is up here, too. And once we've uh, taken all the Greek city-states areas, I need to go and talk to them somewhere else. And I don't actually know where else they will be. Um, it might be a case of just talking to this settlement, Epidamnos, for example. So we will send you there. Because I might just take these this like these four settlements here and leave Epidam uh, and leave Epidamnos and maybe take Cesaros or Cesarathos. Because Epidamnos does border Scordisci. Maybe we'll leave Cesarathos because it borders them. Or maybe we'll sell that to them as well. We'll sell that and Marinea to them for a ceasefire. Hopefully that works. Whether it does or not, I don't know. Let's do some building then, guys. Um, Korkira obviously is dying a bit, so it's probably worth getting some health in here with the aqueduct. So let's do that. Kikiros is happy as well. Um, could go for some more growth. I'm thinking Korkiros, we go for the Temple of Aphrodite, so let's do that. The Doma. Let's go from the bottom, actually. Make sure we're building in all the regions we have just taken. So, Apoas over here is going to be growing soon, so we don't need to do anything about that one. Karistos over here. Let's go for that dockyard. How much is that going to bring? 470. Pretty good. Eritrea up this way. Probably worth just getting the roads in there. 
and Oreos. <laughs> let's go for let's go for the roads in Oreos, so they do have roads to everywhere else. Chalkis, again, not a great settlement, but we can get that one. Athens, a really good settlement. Now, Athens, I do want to build into a recruitment hub, so let's go with that, just in case we're fighting in the east for very long. So, like I say, we're going to map up the Greeks. We're going to go to Crete with two armies. And then the remaining armies, which should be two more, we are going to go and pop across and say hello to our Syracusan friends. <laughs> Which should be quite fun, guys. We are going to invade Italy, which is really good now. Um, so, Philippoi up here is actually a great settlement. Let's keep that going. Let's get some more of those. Tegea is not fantastic, but uh, we can get the grain imports there. I don't mind spending money on their growth. Crop rotation for Ellis is probably the option. Piraeus over here. Let's go for the paved roads. That should help with its trade. Megalopolis, let's go for... Let's just go for the Shrine of Dioscuri for now. Keep them happy. Um, Olympia as well needs a little bit of happiness. So let's go for the Odeon. Uh, it's also a cheap building, so that's good. Leprion, let's go for growth because they've stopped growing now. Aegeon, again, not worth building anything there. Dima. Hmm. Let's go for the Odeon there. Sparta, let's go... For the shrine to Dioscuri again. Just a little bit of extra happiness might allow us to build up that tax rate. Amphipolis up here in the north. Let's go for the public baths. Heraclius and TK. Doesn't have a governor anymore, which is a bit of a shame. So let's just go for that temple of Dionysus. And then Cassandrea. We can just build that temple in there. And again, we're pretty much building everywhere, which is good. Very good indeed. So let's end the turn there, guys. And that'll be glorious. Well then, guys, we've been uh, besieged again by the Adrissians in quite a few places. Like I said, this episode is probably going to be more of a build-up sort of episode, which we tend to have every now and then, don't we? Uh, a little build-up episode. Athamanians, you guys can actually send down to here to join one of these armies. Probably this one, but I think this one's okay, actually. Yes, it is. Could do with another Thuriophoroi. Do we have any Thuriophoroi lying around? Don't think so, unfortunately. We've got another Athamanian, though. Um, well, we'll swap out one of these guys for an Athamanian. So let's do that. Let's get the Athamanian in there. You're going to just go for this one. You're going to go up to siege that down. You, where's the other armies? You're there ready. You're going to try and siege down both of these at once. So let's just take, we don't need many troops for this siege. It's only got one single unit in there. So let's take two of you and a few of the used good troops and maybe some of those. I think that'll be good. Well, I don't know why that didn't work then. Should be good. Maybe one Thurio Foroi as well. Yep, we're going to attack now because we are ready to attack. You guys are going to come around this way and attack Mantinea. Apparently you can't. Apparently you didn't have the movement speed. Ah, oh, God, that's annoying. You're going to siege down that. Good. You're going to siege down that one. And you're going to siege down this one. Good. Good. Well, that is good for us. Um, really good. And let's make sure that we are training this time. You guys can pop out. Ah, we can actually fit all of you in the city now. Good. We also do need to get rid of this army. And it's one of the spawned in ones, I believe, that they get. And it's a pretty good one, isn't it, guys? Look at that. Lucas Fides, Agima, Royal Pelta. So once this army's retrained here, we are going to attack them. We're going to... What do we need in this army? One more Thurio Foroi. Right? So let's do that. Glorious. Well, uh, because look at the devastation. If we look at this here, 500 devastation we're losing each turn in this region. So we need to sort that out ASAP. Um, over here, we've got that battle to do, but let's go through everything. War with the GCS, we know. Pautaulia over this way. Yeah, pretty upset, but they are being besieged down. That's fine. The Adrissians really know how to annoy us, don't they? Just sieging down everything with tiny little things. 
Uh, Rome is now at war. Allied with the Allobroge, which... Yeah, great. Well done, Rome. Very good of you to do that. I don't know why you're doing that. Lucas is now lo no longer... I oh, know, it's that one that's uh, a bit dying. That's fine. Let's go for that Aphrodite. Bit of growth. Tricker over here. Let's go for the baths. Ayana, let's also go for... Let's go for the walls. It just makes it everything look better on the map. That's the main reason. Uh, Pelion, let's go for some more growth. Thermon now got to level 4 recruitment. So what can we get with level 4 that we're not getting right now? The Pez Hetairoi can also get elephants if we get the good level of um, barracks. So what level barracks do we need for these guys? Fourth tier barracks. So uh, yeah, let's go for that. Also an Embrachia. Yeah, we need to get to large city, don't we? That's why we're waiting to get to large city so we can upgrade these and then start getting better troops, elite troops, which will be good against the Romans. Um, over here, yeah, I'm sorry we haven't had many battles this episode, guys, but like I say, um, some episodes are, you know, um, sort of uh, building up episodes and some are not. Uh, some There's a lot of battles. I mean, two episodes ago we had... 10 bloody battles, or however many battles it was, but it was a lot of battles <laughs> in one episode. So, uh, yeah, let's get uh, that in there. Make sure we never get corruption. Same, again, let's just go for the gr uh, grain imports, get a bit more growth. Nysos is under siege, so we're going to ignore that for now. Burger just upgraded its port, so let's upgrade its um, markets too. Cirrus, again, we can maybe get a bit more extra happiness in here with the Odeon and then upgrade um that up there and that'll keep going for a long time sophis over here let's go for the public baths get more growth um elatea let's go for the crop rotation we do need to grow trozan let's go no we don't want walls what am i doing um we don't have actually a governor here so let's go for the agora to Gaia, let's go for that that's a lot of money uh, let's also check that Apuus, yeah, finally can upgrade. Good. That is all our money, and we are not recruiting anywhere for now, but we will do next turn. But first of all, let's do some battles against the Adrissians. First of all, this one should be nice and easy. Actually, we might as well auto resolve that. That was not a problem. And then we'll do a proper battle in a second. So Scapta Terra is back in our hands. Let's leave behind some of the Cretan archers. Then let's go mm, get rid of them. Yeah, 18 men, not a problem. Let's go and attack them. Let's go attack. We can also resolve that too. Should be nice and easy. Six men only lost there. Then let's uh, pop through this way, kill them. And we're going to go after them to make sure that they don't uh, take Damastion. You're pretty unhappy still. You're going to be happy if we do that. They do have a spy in here as well, um, which isn't going to help with the happiness. But that's fine. Um, should have got a bit of retinue there. He gets a runner, which is extra command. Good. Right, like I say, we are just building up this episode, guys. It's um, not about the battles today, apparently, but uh, it's fine. And hopefully, once we've taken all of these, we'll, Greece will be a lot cleaner for us, too. So, uh, how are we doing in Lepion? I would like to keep on recruiting more archers, but we've got one here that can be ready to go in there. Fantastic. Well, let's end the uh, end the uh, turn there, guys. Well, here we are, guys. Let's uh, we're going to auto resolve all of these as well, and we are going to have a battle. I promise you. So don't worry about it. We're going to take Stratos. We're just going to occupy it. Uh, we've got an archer in there that can go in there straight away. You are going to swap into Thermon. So let's pop you there, and let's pop. Let's also uh, kill that while we can. Just to stop any devastation in this land. We don't need devastation. Let's pop in there. And let's retrain any of the men we've lost. Which was actually not many. We do need one unit in this army. Extra unit. I'm happy to take the Greek archers. That's not a problem. Go in Stratos. Again, not too happy. 25%. I mean, they have no buildings in here though. So that's probably why. Let's go for this shrine to Dionysus. Hopefully half of that is unrest. Yeah, 30% unrest and culture penalty as well. A lot of squalor apparently in there, but that's that's okay. If we need to, we can pop in some of these guys in here as well. You guys should be dead. Let's go with that. Auto-resolve that one nice and quickly. Let's uh, enslave this one because it's slightly unhappy. 
And I think we'll leave a Deuteroy behind just for now. And uh, we'll go Siege now on that one. How happy are you now? Not too happy, but again, there's literally nothing in here, so that's why. So let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus. Let's also, I believe we can recruit in one of these other regions, right? Can we not? Well, let's recruit uh, a few archers in Fenike to garrison all of these lands. I think we're going to go for this, and then we're going to go straight for Cesarethos. Um, you guys are getting retrained. You guys should be an easy little uh, auto-resolve there. Nice. Let's enslave again, and let's leave that beef out. They actually had a uh, recruitment hub in there. So let's uh, repair that. And again, oh, you can actually upgrade. Even after the enslavement. I don't know what the GCS was doing. <laughs> Maybe they just had no money. I did think they had an army here. So let's... No, they didn't, apparently. So that's going to be the final one, right? Apart from this. Which we're going to auto-resolve that too. So that is going to be the final one that we do. So uh, you guys can actually go back now for retraining in there. Let's pop you out again. And uh, you guys can go back for retraining. We're going to retrain everyone after we've done all these because we might as well, guys. I know it's not many troops, but it's enough um, to keep us going. So what do we want in here? We want to go down to low. We also want to repair that, destroy that one, and build the shrine to Dionysus. We're going to swap in a garrison from elsewhere. That's straight up to 70%. Now, in f uh, in Larissa, let's retrain those boys. Let's go with a couple of Greek archers too, just for the garrisons. And then we're going to go Ambrakiotes in there. We're going to also train some more Ambrakiotes. In Ambrakia, we're going to train some Athamanians. For Nike, we're training archers and Pella. We are retraining these boys and also training a Thurio 4. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Uh, we just got that one to do, and then and this one, and then Cesarethos, and then we're gonna get peace with the GCS. That's gonna be the plan anyway. Whether they accept peace or not is a different question, guys. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll see. Right, you guys, let's let's get rid of that for the devastation. 192, not a problem. Uh, we're gonna go attack you. And we could actually go after that guy because they actually have rams. If we go there, we might not have the, the room to do that. We are going to do that battle, guys. But before we do, let's check everything. Uh, yeah, rioting in Paltolina. That's fine. Agent found of the Adrissians. Had three people come of age now. Arathus in there. So, Ariathus, you can go and govern a city. Like, Orchomenos would be a good one. So let's get you in Orchomenos. There we go. Not or That was Thebes. That's not Orchomenos. God damn. <laughs> get you in there. Arianos over here. Some of these guys are getting pretty old now, but um, I do think it's fine. Let's have a look. 3,900 there. 1,500. 3,000 in Burger. So I think your best option is to go and govern in Burger. Let's go for that. And then we've got a Sandros over here in Dodona. You can maybe go... Yeah, you can go to Tirada now while we don't have anyone in there. Oh, sorry, Tricka while we don't have anyone in there. And uh, Bessapara was occupied. Carthage and the Syracusans are at war. That's actually good for us. And Brachia has upgraded, guys. That's fantastic. So that means now we can get the... Uh, first of all, we can get the... Uh, apparently, that's the catapult range. No, it's, it's not. Is it? Why does the catapult range look like the uh, armorer? Can we not get... No, we can't get the next level of armorer, can we? So what do we want, though? Do we want... I think we've got the best cavalry. Uh... Oh, we could get we could get elephants, though. Hmm. Ah, elephants or uh, Pez Hetairoi and Agima. Uh... <laughs> that's it, elephants. <laughs> I, think that's the, I think that's the option. I think that's the option, guys. Let's go for that. Oricon, again, probably not worth much to build in there. So let's go for that. Dion upgraded, actually. That's fantastic. Let's go for the Scriptorian. Try and get this guy a bit better at governing. Acanthos. Hmm, Acanthos. Probably not worth that much in here. Maybe the highways, but they're so expensive. 
Imbros got that. I don't know why we got that, actually. <laughs> I think just to keep the culture happy. But that's okay. That's fine. Anything of interest? Let's uh, let's check our Thracian areas to make sure we're uh, still building everything we need to in these areas. We are. And also recruiting what we need to. Good. Still recruiting cavalry. Yep. Fine. That army's very near to being ready. Pella is still building that. So let's uh, maybe come down south and see what we can build down in, say, like Sparta. Uh, not that much, actually. Not that much. So that was actually to Dona for some reason. There's Sparta. How about Githion? Let's see. But Githion is a great city, actually. So let's go for the public baths. Let's go through all these big cities like Athens and stuff like that. Uh, Tanagra is actually now a recruitment hub, so let's keep that, that going. Because these large cities, we can start getting elephants and agima from, which is awesome. Or Kamenos over here also would be a good option for one at some point. But let's get some better roads through this region. Let's also get a port in Lamia. That will be absolutely fantastic. What about this region here? I think we are building a temple, so that's fine. And yeah, let's have a look then. Anything else interesting to build? Well, I'll do this off camera, guys, and then we'll get... Oh, no, we're going to go for this battle, aren't we? Well, let's do this battle then. Let's go and kill some. Finally finish on a battle. They do have horse archers, which... Yeah, do we have horse archers as mercenaries available? Because I will take them. No. But anyway, let's go. Ah, well, this is going to be a mess, guys, because we can't see anything. <laughs> oh, I can't even see where their army is. Oh, dear. This is going to be so hard. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear me. Oh, we've already messed up because uh, we've uh, sent our guys up ahead of our phalangites. So, uh, <laughs> come on, phalangites. Get in there. They are only getting light infantry, so it shouldn't be too problematic. But, um... Yeah, Phalangites, get up there. Cannot see a fucking thing, bro. Let's go. Uh, and then let's get... These guys should be grouped. Let's get them behind now. I think... I can't see any of the troops. <laughs> they did actually start right at routing those Getting Light infantry pretty quickly. Where else do we have troops to deal with? I mean, they've got their Royal Bodyguards over here and the Hippocontistae. That's fine. Right, well, let's uh, let's move forward. I don't think any of these guys are, you know, fighting right now. So let's get them up as well. And you guys, let's bring you forward. I think we're just dying based on their missiles. So uh, let's group you as well so we can put you together. Let's get the cavalry over there. They're actually unseen right now, which is good for us. But I don't think they've got much left, have they? I don't think they have much anyway. Just Thracian Peltas. It's just dealing with those Hippocontistae. You can fire at the Hippocontistae, please. That'd be good. And let's speed this up. Oh, here comes the Hippocontistae. They're going for the charge, actually. That's great for us. Caught that slightly late, but that's okay. Anyone down here fighting? No, I don't think so. Um, I really can't see anything that's going on. <laughs> right. What is that? Getting light infantry? Well, let's get in there. I don't think there's much that we really need to be scared about. Oh, there's the horse archers there. Let's uh, fire at them then and make sure we are firing at them. Kill the general. Speed that up. What do they have coming in there? Oh, Pionian cavalry actually is quite decent. But we should be able to deal with them, no problem. Big cavalry fight going on while, we're, while that's happening. There we go. That's their general. That's going to rout their cavalry, isn't it? Oh, I cannot see. <laughs> I cannot see. <laughs> I can't see. I'm legally blind. Come on. Let's go. And the horse archer. Oh, we can actually touch the horse archer. Go, go, go. Get them then. That should bring them into the fight. Um, I would continue. But, um, yeah, I'll continue and chase them down even though I can't see. <laughs> well, that was a mess. But we won. <laughs> Back on the campaign map, guys. Well, we have defended our lands quite well there. I think we're stuck now. We can't move. So that's fine, though. All of our movement points are gone. Um, these guys are getting retrained and then we're actually going to kill that so we get rid of the um, devastation. It's going to be a hard army to fight, honestly. What is this? Oh, more generals bodyguards. That's fine. 
Um, and then we're going to get our Thracian army on the move next episode, guys, which should be very, very good indeed. Um, let's keep on building up here. Let's keep on building it up uh, because we might as well. We can do. Uh, what about in here? Let's also keep on building, although there's nothing there. Although, Scapto, I did say I was going to get that so we can get some garrison troops from there, so that'll be fine. Uh, what about over here? You are building. Good. So are you. So are you. A lot of places are building right now, so um, that is fantastic. Anywhere along this line with the Seleucids that's not building, Abdera isn't. Abdera can actually upgrade. Uh, we'll do that next turn. You guys get that. And there we go. I think we're good, guys. So, glorious episode. Much building up, like I said, rather than actual fighting. But that's fine. You need those episodes every now and then. Um... And some of you actually really like those these types of episodes. We have basically become the Greek hegemon now. We've taken everywhere in Greece apart from Mantinea, which we're going to do next turn. Um, and then we're also going to take this uh, Apollonia, Epiros, and then move and take Cesarethos and maybe sell Cesarethos and um, Maranea to the Greek city-state as our buffer state up here. And then we're going to go for Crete, and we're also... Yeah, the, the Nossos army's still there. We're going to go for Crete, and then we're also going to maybe um, send another army north, and then the three other armies that are ready to go, we're going to send them across the water, my friends, which should be really good fun. So I'll see you there, guys. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out, and I will see you all again on the next episode.